All right, just making a quick video. This is the Gold Zero Yeti 1000 core. And I just wanted to make a quick video testing the inverter on this thing, right? Because um, this 1000 core model is actually an Amazon exclusive model where they, they reduce the inverter here down to 1200 watts compared to 1500 watts for the 1000X. And, um, you know, the reason they kind of came out with this model is, is to kind of make a more competitive offering, right, as far as pricing goes. Because if, um, if you've looked online, like, usually Goal Zeros, they're, they're very expensive, right? Especially for, um, like, compared to their competition for what they offer, like the battery capacity and the inverter and stuff like that. So, um, and one of the reasons is actually Goal Zero does sell a lot of units, like, in retail stores. So, um, you know, those stores, they got to they gotta make some profit too, right? So you don't want to then just sell the same, um, the same exact model on Amazon for cheap, right? Because then, like, who would buy it from the store? So, um, so they've kind of just always had high prices, like, no matter where you find the unit, in store or online or on Amazon or whatnot, right? So they came out with this 1000 core model. And, um, yeah, so this is only available on Amazon, right? Which kind of allows them to, to drop the price and make a more competitive price. And, uh, and actually, this unit is, is one of my favorite units, right? Just like all-around unit um, for a lot of reasons that I've, that I've already covered in other videos. But, um, but yeah, let's just, let's just test out the inverter in it, right? Because, like I said, the 1000X um, is, is almost the same unit as this unit, right? It's got the same exact um, battery capacity in it. And, um, you know, it just, it looks identical, really, other than, other than this says 1000 core and the, the 1000X says 1000X, right? And um, so, yeah, the inverter is just slightly, slightly smaller or, the, or they're, they rated it lower. And, um, and then the solar, the 1000X can do 600 watts um, up to 50 volts. And this one can only do 300 watts up to 50 volts. But again, this is a 1000 watt hour battery, right? So um, even 300 is, is pretty good, right? But um, yeah, let's just, let's, just, um, let's just jump right into the test, right? So I'm going to start plugging some things into it here. I've got, um, I've got this, this um, <laughs> the cord's in the way. I got this, um, you know, standard uh, electric heater. So we'll just um, start with this on low. This is a 1500 watt heater, right? So let's just um, turn that on right quick. And um, so number one, as you see there, is, is the low speed. So let's just see what we got here. Is this thing, um, i got to get this thing to turn this thing up, make sure it uh, starts up. Okay, here we go. So this thing should run around 700 or 750 watts on low. And, uh, and if you don't know, too, with these electric heaters, a lot of times when they first start up and they're cold, they, they run at, uh, they run, they pull more power, basically, right? So once it gets up to, to normal temperature, they'll actually drop. And uh, as you actually see happening here in real time, mode two, let's see what it puts out on high. Sixteen, sixteen fifty, sixteen eight. This thing's still running it, so this is um actually <laughs> this is actually a lot better than I thought. And this seems like maybe it's you know maybe um this is actually more like a fifteen hundred watt inverter, right? Maybe they just kind of uh, claim it's twelve hundred watt again to to make that distinction between the the core and the one thousand X. Um, so yeah, it's kind of funny. Okay, so now it's settled back in to 1460, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to actually, um, grab another unit, grab my, uh, my heat, my little 200 watt heater here and see if we can add that there. All right, I've just, uh, uh, plugged in the my heat, that little 200 watt heater. So let's just, uh, let's just turn that on right quick, right? Let's see, just see what happens because this is, um, this is kind of blowing my mind already. Sixteen. Yeah. So um. 
basically looking at these results, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that um, they're just using, okay, there it goes. There it goes, I just tripped it. But of course, that was at almost 1,700 watts, right? <laughs> so, um, and this is kind of a cool feature, like that little light actually changes color and turns red. And then it says overload there. But so that was like almost 1,700 watts, right? So um, that's kind of what I would expect, you know, kind of what I would expect to see happen with the 1,500 watt inverter. So this kind of makes me think that they might still just be using that same inverter, right, in this unit. And of course, this is not confirmed. I mean, who knows? Maybe that 1,500 watt inverter in the 1,000X can really do like 2,000 watts or something, right? Um, but you just you just don't know. You don't really see a lot of testing of these Goal Zero units on YouTube either. So that's kind of another reason I wanted to make this quick test, right? And um, yeah, you can check check these things out. I mean, um, this the 1,000 core actually is um, competitively priced, right? So so yeah, hopefully uh, someone finds this interesting or helpful. And thanks for watching.